Hi, I'm Ted from Compliance. Have you ever found yourself asking, what is compliance? What can the compliance office do for me? Or how many times can someone say the word compliance? Well, you're in luck. Following the NCA rules is everyone's responsibility. So in this extensive eight-hour lecture series, you will look in this brief instructional video, we'll review the big picture and how the Office for Athletics Compliance can help you. There's no NCA rule that says you have to have a compliance office, but the rules do require you to be compliant. And that's where we're here to help, because there are a lot of rules. The compliance office provides education to make sure everyone knows their rights and responsibilities and know what they can and can't do, and then monitor and enforce the rules as necessary after the fact. This education, monitoring, and enforcement program is how we demonstrate institutional control. Violations happen, and when they do, we have a duty to notify the NCAA. Self-reporting actually shows that we have a healthy compliance program in place. Violations are not necessarily a bad thing. Wait, is he telling us to commit violations? No, silly goose, I'm not. But when they do happen, we have to take the appropriate steps to make sure that we're all doing our jobs. Most violations are level three, formerly known as secondary violations. They're limited in nature and scope and can be dealt with in-house. If something is done purposefully over a long period of time or involves things like sports gambling, banned substances, or academic misconduct, it could be a level one or two major infraction. No matter if it's big or small, if you're aware of a possible issue, your ethical conduct duty requires that you report it. Well, it sounds like you're looking for a waiver. The NCA has different types of waivers for various reasons. Know that they are not guaranteed, and we want to make sure that we are putting forward only good cases and that include mitigating circumstances backed up by objective proof to justify why a rule should not apply. If you think a rule needs to be changed permanently, you can tell the compliance office and we can listen and live and laugh and, well, I guess that's just about it. But it's even more effective to reach out to the conference or coaches association directly and let them know what rules need to be changed. The Houston compliance staff members are here to help every step of the way. Lauren is the head of compliance along with academics and financial aid. Janet does so many things, notably recruiting, playing and practice rules, and time management. Christina is the certification officer who reviews eligibility for recruits and ensures teams are academically eligible to compete. Karma is the scholarship coordinator. Anything with financial aid goes to her office. And I handle things like athlete agents, personnel, and parody videos. The compliance staff works with every team and we collaborate together. If you have a question, let anyone on the staff know and we'll direct you where you need to go. Now you know more about compliance and maybe a little bit more about yourself. Because compliance lives inside all of us, here and here. <laughs>